Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and today we are going to do a neck and shoulder release class. We'll start seated in easy pose, sukhasana with one ankle crossed in front of the other. Once you find this seat, just sit up nice and tall. Root down through your support, whether you're sitting on a blanket or the floor, and reach up through the crown of the head. And start to tune your attention towards the breath. Feel the breath as it comes in and out through the nose. Watch the breath as it goes up on the inhales and down and out with the exhales. Now start to center your attention right at the tip of the nose, right here at the nostrils. So feel the breath as it hits that space and goes up and in through the ceilings of the nose and then watch the breath as it goes down and out through those nostrils. Make sure you're keeping your shoulders relaxed the jaw relaxed as you do this work. Next, begin to draw your awareness deeper. As you inhale, feel the breath going in and up towards the center of the eyes, right in the eye creases. And as you exhale, watch the breath go down and out through the nose effortlessly and easily. Now you might want to keep your attention right here in the space between the eyes or in the eye creases. Or maybe you want to draw it a little bit higher. So on your next inhale, feel the breath as it goes in through the nose, past the corners of the eyes to the space in the center of the head. So right in the very, very center. And as you exhale, feel the breath go down and out. So sometimes as we move towards the center of the head, you might feel some tension building in the forehead even some might get a little bit of a headache. If that is you, just back off a bit, make it more effortless. And maybe even go back to just breathing right to the space between the eyes. And we'll do this round about five more times, five more rounds of breath. Harana Pranayama, which is what we're doing, is said to cultivate uh, a peaceful flowing mind. And then release your attention and just breathe naturally. From here, you can keep your eyes closed Draw your right ear towards your right shoulder and let your left ear lift up towards the ceiling. Now from here, you might wanna kind of gently stroke the left side of the neck. Just beginning to wake up all the nerves, the cells in this area. And if you want a little bit more here, you can take your right hand and just weight the head down a little bit more. Make sure you're not tugging on the neck. It's just a little added weight. And breathe through the left side to feel the space. And release your hand down to your thigh and then turn your gaze towards your right knee. So just a little different here.
and then bring your head up through center. From here, you'll drop your head to your left shoulder, let your right ear lift up. Again, maybe just kind of putting your hand on the right side of your neck, gently massaging this area to stimulate it. And then if you'd like, you can take your left hand to your head and gently draw the, the head just a little closer towards that left shoulder. Make sure you're still breathing smoothly and effortlessly. And then release the hand to the thigh and turn your gaze down towards your left knee. From here, you're gonna to start to rock your head really gently across the collarbone in the front. Right, so just really slowly, really gently from one shoulder to the other. And then keep your head down, chin towards your chest. Interlace the fingers behind the head and just gently pull the head down. And your next inhale, lift the head up. Lean the head back into the hands and open the elbows out to the side. Take three deep breaths here. Inhale, lift your head up through center. From here, I want you to cross the arms. So take your right hand to your left knee and your left hand to your right knee. Now, if you don't quite get the knees, that's okay. They can kind of rest on the thighs as well. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, tuck your chin towards your chest. Let the head hang. And take a few breaths here. Inhale, lift the head back up. Take the back arm in front and do the same thing. Inhale, exhale, drop the chin. Bow to your highest self here. And inhale, lift back up. Release the arms from here, interlace the fingers. Your palms are towards you to start and then flip the palms away from you as you round the back, start to extend the arms. Tuck your chin and feel the navel pulling in and back. On your inhale, lift the arms up, then drop the shoulders down, root down through your sit bones and then reach up through the palms. From here, take the arms out wide, spread the fingers. You're gonna take the left arm underneath the right. You can bend the elbows and just take your hands to your shoulders or even a little bit behind the back and to, towards the shoulder blades. Or you can take Garudasana arms, eagle arms, taking the back of the hands together or the palms, making that full bind. As you inhale, lift the, the elbows up in line with the shoulders and then start to bring your hands away from your face. Feel some separation here. Now if you have your hands at your shoulders, walk your fingers back to the upper back and maybe start to pull your scapula apart. Breathe. Inhale, arms come out wide. And then let's do the same thing other side. Bend your elbows. Left elbow is going to go on top this time. You can wrap the palm or wrap the hands and press the palms together if you'd like. Lift the elbows up and then take the hands away from the face and take some deep breaths here.
Good, take the arms out wide again. And from here, you'll take your left arm up. Now you can bend the elbow and take the hand between the shoulder blades. Maybe reach for that elbow with your left hand. Once you get that, soften your ribs and lift your chin up away from your chest. You can also take your right hand behind you, turn the thumb down, and then bend the elbow to reach for the left fingers. If you can't quite get that, then grab a strap. So if you have a strap nearby, you can take the strap in your left hand, bend the elbow, take your right hand behind you, and reach for the strap that way. I'll show you from the, from the back what that looks like. So you take it behind your back, you reach for the strap, and then you start to walk your hands a little closer. If you have the full bind, you have your hands here, and try to pull your hands away from each other, but keep your fingers together. Just take a few breaths there. Good, and then from here, let's release and do the other side. Lift the right arm up, bend the elbow, hand between the shoulder blades, reach for that elbow with the left hand. This is step one. Maybe this is where you'd like to stay. Step two would be taking that strap in the right hand, putting the left hand behind you, reaching for the strap, and then walking your hands a little closer together. And step three would be doing all of that without the strap. Just reaching for those right fingertips. And then find your breath. Good, and then let's release that. All right, from here you're gonna turn to face the, the front of your mat if you're not already there. <laughs> And from here, bring your big toes together, sit to your heels, and relax in child's pose. Rest your forehead down on the mat. And you might want to take your hands behind your head, or you can even take your hands by your heels. Connect back with the breath. Good, now if your hands are not by the heels, bring them there. And we'll begin to walk our knees into each other. So your knees are together. Keep your hands on your heels. You're, you're gripping the heels, and then from here, start to lift your hips up. This is rabbit pose, and you're gonna feel a pulling uh, of your scapula away from each other. You're rolling onto the crown of the head. And then release your heels back. Sit back to your heels. Release your reach, your arms forward. And then come up. We'll take puppy pose. So for some, you might want to come onto your forearms, walk your elbows forward, and try to melt your heart down. And for others, you might want to take it deeper, come onto the fingertips, melt the heart down. So this is different than child's pose because your hips are high, right on top of knees if, pos if possible. Stay here for three. Stay here for two. And one. Begin to walk yourself back up. And you're gonna take a step forward with your right foot. Now if you have blocks available, you can have blocks on either side of the foot. From here, we're just gonna stretch out those hips for a moment. So allow the hips to press forward and down. And then walking your blocks back a bit, tuck your left glute under. Keep this really strong, the pelvic floor, so you're engaging Mula Bandha. And then option to interlace the fingers behind your back. See if you can get the wrists together to touch. Reach the fist away from you as you do a little bit of a heart opener back bend. Breathe deeply. And then release. Let's step the right knee back and step the left foot forward. Do the same thing here. Allow the hips to press forward and down, hands on either side of that left foot. If you don't have blocks available, that's okay. Good, 
I do cell blocks on my website if you're interested. Bellyogi.com, check it out. Good, and then begin to walk your blocks back. Tuck your right hip under. Interlace the fingers behind your back and start, start to uh, lean back a bit. For me, I have something going on with my right knee, so curling the toes under doesn't give me that sensation in the knee. So if you ever have pinching sensations in the knee, play around to figure out how you can get that um, not to happen, <laughs> right? Sometimes patting the knee helps too. Good, and then release that. Left knee steps back. Now you can continue to stay on your blocks, on hands and knees if you'd like or you can come down to the floor with your hands. We're gonna do just a few cat cows. So inhale, arch your back, and then exhale, push and round. Now you might wanna to start to add in here, once you do a few rounds of this, add in an abdominal squeeze. So in Sanskrit, that's a kuchana prasarana, and it just means that as you exhale, you draw the navel in and up towards the spine. Really gently. And on your inhale, allow it to release and relax. So as you do A and P, Akuchana Prasarana, it activates the intelligence in the abdomen, your gut brain, which in my opinion might be the most important brain we have because it helps you listen to your intuition your higher self, which I think might lie right, right there in the abdomen. Just do a few more like this. And then find a steady tabletop. Curl your toes under and start to lift your hips up and back and take downward facing dog. So feet are about hip distance apart, press down into the, the blocks or the floor. And then walk your feet forward towards your hands. Just allow the upper body to hang towards the lower body. You might even want to grab opposite elbows or just let the arms dangle as you shift the weight towards the toes. Release the left hand down to the floor and then take a soft bend or a big bend in your left knee and reach the right arm up. From here, you can actually even keep your right hand to your hip if you're just working on that shoulder rotation. Right hand up would be step two. Step three, take that right hand behind the back, reach for the inside of the left thigh, and then open that right shoulder up even more. On your inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, release the right hand down. Bend the right knee deeply. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Okay, now you can stay right here. Or again, take the hand behind the back, reach for the inside of the right thigh, and pull it back. Breathe deeply. Find that effortless breath that is smooth and the same length. So the inhales and exhales at the same duration. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, release it down. From here, a little bend in the knees, You'll roll it up to stand nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. And from the front of your mat, just take a few shoulder rolls. So lift the shoulders up towards the ears and back down. Maybe even rocking the neck a little, moving the head, I should say. So do it a few times in this direction. And then let's take it from the back to the front. Really exaggerated rolls here. Three or three or so times. Good. From here, let's walk our feet wider than our, our hips. 
Turn your right toes to the front. You're gonna come into a warrior two. Arms come out to a T and then come up to grab opposite elbows. Take your elbows behind your head. Lift your chin away from chest so that your chin is parallel to the floor and take a few breaths here. We won't be here too long. Extend the right leg, turn the right toes in, left toes turn to the back of your mat, bend the left knee. See if you can keep your shoulders and hips square to the long edge of your mat. Nice, inhale, extend. Turn your right toes forward, left toes turn slightly in, reach your arms forward, we're coming into triangle. So kick your left hip back, back, back. Right arm reaches forward and take the right hand to the shin. If you have that block nearby, you can always have it on the block as well. Left arm reaches up, pull the torso back. And option here, take the hand behind the back, reach for the inside of the right thigh. Do look wherever it's comfortable for your neck. Oh, left arm reaches up on the inhale, press down through your feet and come all the way up to stand. If you're using the block, pick the block up, turn the left toes to the back, reach the left arm forward, 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 right hip kicks back, left hand comes down on the shin, maybe the block, right arm reaches up. And an option here is taking the left arm behind the back and reaching for the inside of the left thigh as you start to lean back, bringing that right shoulder up towards the ceiling. <clears throat> Good. And then reach the right arm up, press down through the feet to come up to stand. You'll turn the left toes in, heels are going to turn out. Hands come to your hips. Inhale, lengthen here, look up, and then start to hinge forward from the waist with a nice flat back. Take your hands down on your fingertips, right under your shoulders, maybe under blocks if you need. And then walk your hands forward and drop the head. Now from here, take your left hand and thread it under your right, so you're reaching for the uh, front of the right ankle. If that doesn't quite work, you can always just take the hand down in front of the right foot. So keep reaching the right fingertips forward and then you start to pull your torso through. And then find your breath. Left arm re returns back to where it was and then you can stay here, drop the head. Or take it further. Right hand reaches for the left ankle or you can take the hand in front of the foot. Just listen to your body, its limitations today. Good, and then release your right hand back. You're gonna to start to walk your hands back under your shoulders, flat back, look up, and exhale, fold deeper. Walk your hands back, heels and heels of the hands in line with the heels of the feet, or maybe you wanna walk your hands all the way back so the fingertips face away from your face. And then start to shift the weight forward towards the toes. Good, walk your hands back under the shoulders, flat back, look up. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, come all the way up. And then come to the front of your mat in mountain pose. <clears throat> Good, from here, reach your arms up over your head. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, lift the chest. And then step your feet back, drop your knees, and we're gonna come onto our back. So we're just gonna do some abdominal work here. Some eagle crunches. You're gonna lie all the way down on your back. <coughs> Excuse me. Lift your legs up towards the ceiling. Cross your right knee in front of left, so the knees are completely stacked. Now you can bend the knees here and stay right there, or you can take eagle legs, wrapping the right toes around the left calf. Arms are going to be a right arm underneath left, 
So left arm is on top. Bend your elbows here, and you can even have your hands on your shoulders, back of the hands together, or palms, you choose. So you're gonna inhale, press the lower back down into the floor as you bring your elbows and knees away from each other, and exhale, crunch it in. So we're just gonna do 10. Inhale, extend. Keep that lower back pressing down the whole time, especially as you extend. Now you can touch the left toes towards the floor, or you can just go as far as your range of motion. Good, for five. <clears throat> Six. Exhale as you bring them all together. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. Take a moment to unwind. Release your arms and legs and reach them in opposite directions. Let the back arch. And then lift the legs up. This time, cross right knee on top of left. Oh, other side. Left knee on top of right. Arms are going to be right on top of left. So same thing here. Grab the shoulders if you'd like. Back of the hands or palms. Now inhale, bring the elbows and knees away. And exhale, crunch in. Feel the abdominals work here. For four. Lower back keeps pressing down for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release, extend arms and legs. Maybe a sigh. <laughs> and then bend your knees. Feet underneath the knees, hip distance apart. And we're gonna do two bridge poses with a bind. So press down into your feet, lift your lower middle upper back up, roll the shoulders under. Maybe the arms are just reaching long, or you can interlace the fingers, see if you can get the wrists together to touch, and reach the fists towards your heels. Legs are really active, glutes are engaged. Hold it here for five. Four. Three, two, one. Release the hands if you have the bind. Nice and slow, roll it back down. All right, we'll just do one more like that. Press down into the feet. Inhale, lift up. Roll the shoulders under. Reach the fist towards the heels. For five. For four. For three, two, and one. Release the hands, lower it back down. Take your feet as wide as your mat, drop the knees in towards each other. Take a moment to settle. And then cross the right knee on top of the left, scoot your hips to the right and drop your knees over to the left. Let your right elbow come out to a goal post, right shoulder blade is on the floor, and turn your gaze over your right shoulder. And then let it come back up through center, right foot steps down, left knee over, over right, scoot hips to the left, drop knees to the right, Keep that left shoulder blade down and breathe. Good, now come back through center and we'll come into our final relaxation. So extend your legs to the corners of your mat. Let your arms rest down. Maybe roll the shoulders underneath you and completely Relax here. So stay here for at least a couple minutes to let it all integrate. Let the 
jaw relax, all your fingers relax. Start to notice if there's still any tension in the body. And if there is, just release that attention by bringing your awareness to that area. Every breath in is nourishing you. Every breath out is cleansing you, relaxing you. Now you can stay right here. If you want to come out, start to bring some movement into the body, starting with your hands and feet. And roll onto one side when you're ready. And gently press yourself up to a seated position. Draw your hands together in front of your heart, bow your chin to your chest. Boka, Samasta, Sukino, Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. And may the thoughts, words, and actions of my own life contribute in some way to that happiness and freedom to all. Namaste. Thank you all for watching. Please like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell for notifications if you'd like to be notified when the next video comes out. And tell all your friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful for you.